Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, people of the world, depending on your area of location. I am Oheto Owazie. I am a legal practitioner in Biafra land. I do cases for IPOB. And we are covered by legal immunity because we have case with Nigerian government pending in the courts in Nigeria. And based on that, I granted an interview to a Lagos-based national newspaper called The Wheel. In the interview, I exposed a lot of issues. And ever since then, the DSS has not allowed me to rest. They've been calling me to come and denounce the interview, cancel it if possible, renounce it, claiming that it is not mine, so that they can clamp down on the editor and the newspaper that granted the said interview. And I am not ready to do that. He, in fact, went as said, one Nuhu Muhammad of the DSS, even went further to tell me that at the end of the exercise, they are going to give, reward me handsomely. I said, I, I can't do it. No, it's not possible. We are bear friends. I belong to Nandi Kano IPOB. We don't, take, we don't receive bribe. I won't. Then I kept on playing on him. And the, the deadline he gave, he, he gave me expired yesterday. I said, I'm not coming to DSS office. Because I know, I know very well, if I go there, I will not come back alive. They will kill me. Because they said that I embarrassed the British government, I embarrassed the Nigerian government, I also embarrassed the governor of Imo State. Be because I spoke the truth. Yes, he said I insulted the British government. And I'm here to stand on my west. What I said are life. I'm not going to retract it. Yes, because I said the British government is one of the most irresponsible and the stupid government I've ever seen in my life. Because when they wanted to pull out of EU, nobody coerced them, nobody fought them, nobody disturbed them. They took their decision and wanted to pull out of EU. And the EU conducted a referendum for them, which they won and pulled out peacefully. There was no war. But in our own case, for the past 50 years, the Biafrans have been struggling to pull out of Nigeria. And the Britain insisted we must remain in Nigeria. And they, even now, and the, the British High Commissioner, Catherine Liang, Catherine Liang, after my interview, she has been moving all nooks and crannies of Nigeria. In fact, she relocated, her, transferred her office to Asorok and started running the affairs of Nigerian government. In fact, recently she has been moving the whole Biafra land, meeting with all our corrupt politicians and corrupt businessmen, trying to persuade them to frustrate Nandekano's effort, try to frustrate restoration of Biafra, that we must remain in Nigeria. And we are saying no. And uh, mind, you, the, 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 mind you that Britain, Britain caused the First World War. Go back to history. Britain caused the First World War. And this Britain caused the Second World War. And this Britain wants to cause another Third World War in the Biafran case. And I'm appealing, crying to the world not to allow this. All democratic world should rise up. The conscience of the world should rise up against this evil that they want to perpetrate. Already, this uh, Catherine Lang, the British High Commissioner, she has met, uh, had a meeting with the Inspector General of Police, detailing them to kill all IPOB members, which they have carried out recently. If you go to the mortuary in a, a, a federal medical center, it's filled up with youths. Thousands of youths have been gunned down by police and the military. Go to the mortuary at Aladema, filled up with corpses of young boys, young Igbo boys. 
The one that are one group filled up with young Igbo boys shot, and now they are now carrying. When they shoot, they carry the corpses. When they shoot, they carry the corpses. And you talk, they kill you. Nobody wants to say anything. Nobody wants to say anything. And they keep on shooting, killing. Even night, if they meet you in the night, you are you are gone. They meet you in the lonely place, you are gone. They meet you even in the market where you see them shooting sporadically to intimidate, to cow us down, to drop the Biafran struggle. And we said no. Even as I'm giving this interview, don't be surprised, they, they may get at me. I don't care because already I'm a dead man. I see myself as a dead man. And that is why I'm granting this interview. I am calling on the world. I am calling on the world. I am calling on the American government, Joe, led by Joe Biden, to intervene in this case. I am calling on the, Ameri the Canadian government to intervene immediately. I am calling on the state of Israel, led by Netanyahu. I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. Come in. Come into this matter. Intervene. Otherwise, there will be a repeat. A repeat of a, 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 a Rwanda case. We are a tribe rose up and annihilated another tribe. The Fulanese want to annihilate us. Honestly, I am calling on the, 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 the world to come in. And not only this. They also accused me that I insulted the, uh, the Sultan of uh, the, the Sokoto Caliphate. I didn't. Sokoto Osman Danfodio, Osman Danfodio was a stranger in Nigeria. He's not a Nigerian. I've been issued. He, he just came from, from Mauritania and wandered into Nigeria, you know, with the Islam. Conquered Sokoto, Castina, and the, uh, 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 Kano. That's where his empire ended. And now they want to push it further. Where the recent government of the Kabal, the Sokoto Kabal, they now went and they brought in their brothers from uh, Mauritania, from Senegal, from Gambia, from Niger, Chad, Burkina Faso, Central African Republic, to come and invade Nigeria. You have uh, Boko Haram, the, or the same people. You have uh, the bandits, the same people. You have uh, Fulani Hesmen, they are the same people. They have armed all of them with AK-47 to shoot everybody, to kill the indigenous people. You can see what is happening in Benue State. They have eliminated almost all the youth in that place. Even in Euro, uh, Kogi State, the same thing. In the West, in Yoruba land, the same thing. And uh, even here, in uh, yeah, they are now using the soldiers to deal with us. So that thereafter, the invaders will now come in and the conquest will be complete. We are calling on the, world, the civilized world, the conscience of the world, to come and rescue Biafra. This battle is much. This battle is much. They have the backing of the Arabs, backing them, giving them arms and giving them money to destroy us. I am calling on the world to rise up. And mind you, I already, I am not going to see, to answer DSS. I will not. I will not, because if I do, I will be a dead person. So the world, don't allow them to kill me. My interview stands. And besides, the British government, the, don't allow the British government to cause another third world war for the world. Thank you very much. God bless you all.